So yes, guys, good afternoon to all. Here again at, in St. John's Parish Churchyard, looking southeasterly now, towards Bath Beach, which is in St. John, and we can see the ruins for the former Bath Plantation. And we can see all of the concept bay in St. John. And we can see College Savannah in St. John as well. And up to East Point Lake House in St. Philip. And this is Pot House, the district of Pot House here, below here. All here is Pot House St. John. Leading, leading, to, leading to Pot House Spring and Bath Beach. This is, this is the, um, the binoculars for distant viewing. And we can see all across the David Thompson Polyclinic, which is also in St. John, across here. And this is the sundial. So this is the this is also the east coast. This is southeast towards Bath Beach, Pot House. Concept Bay, Skeets Bay, all up to the East Point Lake House, um, Crane, and that area, and Culpeper Island, which is an island, a little small dot, just off of the shores of Barbados, which is also in the parish of St. Philip. See lots of graves of famous Barbadians in this churchyard. This is the Taylor grave here, the Taylor tomb. I mean, the cat. Wait, my bad. This is the Taylor tomb here. My apologies for that. This is the Taylor tomb. Vernon, Ronald Vernon Taylor, Muriel Louisa Taylor, and Henry Vernon Taylor, and Ronald C. Taylor as well, and H. William Lewis, William H. Lewis, and this is the character tomb here, and this is the silly tomb. So in this tomb, people don't really get buried in this shot anymore. It's also another part of the Sealy tomb again. So people don't really get buried in this church yard. They get buried on the cemetery, which is on the opposite side of the road. Known as St. John's Cemetery. But they don't really bury the people in St. John's church yard anymore. This is the grave, the tomb for the for Ferdinando Paleologus. Here lie a few body of Ferdinando Paleologus, descended from ye emperor line, line, line of ye last Christian emperors of Greece. Church warden of this parish, 1655 to 1656, vestryman, 20 years, died October 3rd, 1678. So this is St. John Parish Church here. Historic St. John's Parish Church. Looking northeasterly now towards Martin's Bay, which is also in St. John, and Tent Bay, and Bathsheba, Soup Bowl, Cattle Wash. We can see all up in the hills of St. Andrew and the Scotland District. We can see Chalky Mount and the Sleeping Giant. We can see all at the Morgan Lewis in St. Andrew and all at the Bosco Bell in St. Peter. And we can see Pico Tenerife to the north, which is in St. Lucy. As well. Side view of St. John Parish Church. So 
So the church is more gothic. This is the gothic type. This church has gothic type windows. And these are the buttresses here for support of the church. The sign is pointing to the sundial and the Palaeologus grave where I just came from. St. John Parish Church, first erected in 1645, destroyed by fire and rebuilt in 1676. Destroyed by hurricane and rededicated in 1836. Got a look inside of the church again. And the magnificent pipes for the organ. This is the staircase, the spiral staircase. But they have a card tying down the staircase. I don't know if upstairs is any good or not. But this is the mahogany puppet, and this puppet is made from different three different types of wood. And beneath our feet could be burial ground, but some vaults, um, some tombs of some people as well. There are some people that are buried below this in this churchyard underneath here. Buried right here underneath my feet. This is really quite a six. And you can see the lovely stained glass windows. And the altar. And the vestry. And this is the pipe art. This is the organ. And the piano as well. This plot says in loving memory of Carrollton Haynes, born at Newcastle, Barbados, 7th of February 1858, died at Woodlands, Hampshire, England, the 20th of November 1945, and his wife, Helen Georgina Haynes, born in South Africa, 30th of June 1860, died in London, 9th of October 1958. I got some more plaques. So yes, guys, the art, the gothic windows. So you can make this this church one of your stops when you visit Barbados. Those who are not from Barbados, watching this video, you can make St. John's Parish Church one of your stops. Looking upstairs again. Lovely pipes, a lovely pipe organ. The pipes for the organ, sorry. This is where the sound for the organ goes through. And it comes through for the pipes. And this is the baptismal font here. This is the gift shop for the church. And this is the church vicarage with the priest lives. This is the rectory. Back in the churchyard again.
in John's rectory. Heading back over to the David Thompson grave, the grave of our late Prime Minister, David Thompson. Who served two years in office. He's the one who introduced free bus fare for school children from September 2008. First of all, looking back again towards Pot House here and Bath Beach. Looking southeasterly again towards Pot House and Bath Beach, Concert Beach and St. Philip. To the lighthouse and all up to the Queen Beach and Hotel. And the grave of David Thompson again. Born on the 25th of December 1961 and died on the 23rd of October 2010. Beloved her husband of Mara, father of Misha, Oya, and Osa Marie. Adopted father of Dario, Prime Minister of Barbados from 2008 to 2010. As I said before, David Thompson died on my birthday, on my 17th birthday. That was a very sad occasion, learning of the death of our Prime Minister. Back again at the binoculars, like for distant viewing. And the sundial. So this is where it started from, and this is where it will end back. Thanks for watching, and have a blessed evening.